invaded the Australian Open tennis, claiming he is the second coming of Christ. Hoare has also been caught on camera cavorting at the Big Day Out Festival and says his public stunts are all part of an upcoming movie. Sunday was Peter Hoare's Big Day Out. Just hours after invading the Australian Open, he was being a nuisance at the showground's youth concert and he was warming up with those now infamous bird noises. <laughs> then in front of a stunned audience as young as 12, Peter Hall was doing it again, grabbing centre stage. The exhibitionist starts to shed his clothes. Another band member helps him go the full Monty and a nude salute to the crowd who'd paid $75 a head for the concert. Out of the blue, he just appeared. I mean, like the security there. A publicist for the big day out said Peter Hoare had no authorisation to perform at the event. He'd been issued with no stage access pass and it appears he's once again managed to sidestep security. Today it was Adelaide's turn. Police called after a complaint about a man with a video camera. Yes, Peter Hoare. He told them he had no plans to disrupt the Grand Prix, was making a movie and that he was the second coming of Jesus Christ. So why the Australian Open? When I went onto the tennis court with the camera, it was part of my movie. Is he a pest? It's not so damn predicted that, 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 that a, um, a plague of the pest would be part of the coming. Hoare denies he's crazy, and behavioural psychologist John Cheatham agrees, saying he's a human variation, but basically harmless. Here we have a man who is a frustrated performer who wants to be seen by others and uh, to engage in opportunities for others to notice him. As for the future? I believe I have a future as a person investigating politicians, persons investigating police. What do you think about people that say you're just a publicity seeker? And, uh... I think they eat animals, sir. I think there's two peoples on this world. There's people who eat animals and people who don't eat animals. Mm -hmm. I think the people who eat animals say that I'm just a publicity seeker and I'm an idiot. And the people who don't eat animals say, well done, you're doing a terrific job. All slaves eat animals. Um, all slaves know nothing, that's why they're slaves. All slaves eat animals. Enjoy your animals, slaves. I didn't interrupt it. I got on stage and I was part of the performance in Melbourne at the Big Day Out with Dave Grohl, who was the drummer of Nirvana. And he said, just come to the next one. So I expect to be on stage at the next Big Day Out. The actions I have done follow the actions of Christ in that he um, was anti-church, but at the same time he was pro freedom and pro peace. I've been assessed many times psychically by police. Every time after I've done my actions, I've been assessed and they've all said, OK, you are obviously sane and you are obviously who you believe you are. We think it's a little bit strange, but we let you go because you're in no danger to um, people's uh, life or property. Will you get go to more public... Uh, uh... I don't believe so because I've done enough to justify my own belief in that I'm doing the, the work of the coming. I have a knowledge of numerology in that I have a, a way to express the coming, which is unique and new, and I express this as I am the second coming. And what would you say to people that say you're crazy? They're entitled to their opinion. The thoughts of serial pest Peter Hoare, you be the judge.